So Mimi came in today with some pain in the hip, difficulty doing high knees when she teaches class as an instructor. Uh, she was able to play pickleball and she was able to play competitively because she won. Right. Um, and But she's having discomfort lifting the leg up. So what is it? Let's find out. First, we're gonna muscle test um, the rectus femoris, okay? So push your knee up towards your head. Any pain? No. Not too bad. So that we know that the rectus femoris crosses the hip and it crosses the knee. Primary hip flexor, that's not the problem. So um, let's check the quads, okay? You're gonna push your knee towards the ceiling. Go ahead and push up, how's that feel? It's okay, a little discomfort. It feels a little right bit, so we're getting some engagement. Let's straighten the knee to challenge different fibers of the uh, quadriceps intermedialis. Push your foot towards the, the ceiling again. How about that? Catching it. Catching it. And you know, she's pointing a little bit off to the side. What else are hip flexors? Iliopsoas and TFL. So let's check the iliopsoas. I'm gonna push down. You're gonna hold, resist. How's that feel? Little bit. Little bit. Again, I'm kind of on the outside. So a little bit on the outside. Let's check the TFL. I'm gonna push in. You're gonna hold, hold. How's that feel? Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. So, <laughs> TFL's really hot. So we know there. It's got some uh, irritation to the TFL. But hip flexion is also an issue. Well, so, we're thinking maybe there's some irritation to the uh, quadriceps, the intermedialis. But let's check the uh, iliopsoas where it attaches to the lesser trochanter because that can also irritate this or just relax. So, I'm just going to palpate in through here and nothing. 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 So iliopsoas is not the issue. So let's come over to this side. However, we, the pain's in through here, so there's two areas we have to check. The ilio, um, the TFL. So let's do a little bit of pin and stretch on the TFL, bring the knee up to your chest. You're gonna start here and you're just gonna straighten your leg out like that. But the other thing, wait, 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 wait for me. Go ahead and straighten it out. Real sore, medium sore, just some pressure. Just some pressure, just some not pressure. Too bad. Go ahead, a little bit, but again, not yeah. too bad. So after we do this push, there's a part of the, actually it is part of the rectus femoris, but it's the reflective head that comes around and inserts on the lateral aspect of the uh, ilium here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start down here and you're gonna pull up, okay? okay? Wait for me. Go ahead. Uh, okay, well, I already there, feel it. So oh, there it is. it is. So it is yeah. part of the rectus femoris, but it's not the major tendon that goes over the ASIS oh, yeah, and attaches that. up in here, okay? So it's not this component of the rectus femoris, it's the reflective head that comes over here. We'll do a couple of passes on that. Then uh, we're gonna adjust her SI joint because it's locked on that side as well. There are no hip papal mechanics, so we don't have to worry about that. And then uh, did some pneumatic compression for recovery and then some RPW and probably some tech art. She'll be in good shape. And just be careful with forced hip flexion for the weekend, light stuff. Stay away from jumping, pounding but hip flexion's okay, but no like jumping, bounding, things like that. And uh, she'll be back on track, but a cool case.